welcome. I'm Carla Malazowski, and I work in the Division of Consortia Choice and Application Program Services, which is also known as DC CAPS. Thank you for joining me today to learn more about the Middle School Magnet Consortium that is also known as the MSMC. You will hear from me and our presenters about the choice process and about each of the schools in the MSMC. At the end, we'll have an FAQ session so that you can hear the most frequently asked questions about this process. The MSMC is made up of three schools, which are whole school magnets, developed with themes of high interest. Each school offers high quality programs that attract skilled teachers. Students are encouraged to challenge themselves and take rigorous courses. The three schools include Argyle Magnet Middle School, focusing on digital design and development, A. Mario Loiterman, focusing on creative and performing arts, and Parkland Middle School, which focuses on aerospace technology. Who can attend an MSMC school? All fifth grade students are eligible to apply. Those who live in the boundaries of the MSMC, Brookhaven, Georgian Forest, Harmony Hills, Sergeant Shriver, Strathmore, Veers Mill, Weller Road, or Wheaton Woods are considered in consortium. And those students will be assigned to an MSMC school. Those who live outside the boundaries may apply to participate in the lottery process. Now we're gonna hear about each of the schools. The first school to talk about their program will be Argyle Middle School. Hello, my name is Courtney Chow and I'm the Magnet Coordinator at Argyle Middle School of Digital Design and Development. Argyle is a great school for students who are interested in technology, gaming, programming, digital media and TV production, engineering, advanced computer science and coding, cybersecurity, robotics, and web design. At Argyle, we focus on all aspects of digital design and technology through the lens of critical thinking and collaboration to solve real world problems. At Argyle, all sixth grade students take a special technology class called Technology Explorations, where they get a chance to explore the four major technology pathways that our school offers. In this class, students learn about engineering, web design and cybersecurity, programming and robotics, and digital art and media. From there, students can select from a wide variety of specialized electives, like Innovative Minds, Digital Music, Digital Art, Programming Fundamentals, Innovation and Engineering, and students can even earn high school credit in courses like Website Development, Foundations of Computer Science, and Intro to Engineering Design. In all of these classes, students focus on developing solutions to real world problems, using the engineering and design processes to refine their work along the way. Students also have access to a wide range of cutting edge technologies, including our newest lab, the Verizon Innovative Learning Lab, equipped with 3D design and imaging technology. We also utilize research-based curricula from Arizona State University and Project Lead the Way to ensure that our students are equipped with the skills necessary to be successful in college, careers, and as members of their communities. In the eighth grade year, all students are involved in our capstone project. Students select a technology pathway for their focus and work collaboratively in a group over the course of the school year to create a culminating product. In the past, students have created mobile apps, websites, documentary videos, and product prototypes all with the focus on creating a positive impact in the community. Argyle also offers a variety of special clubs like our Invent the Future Club, who have won many awards for their green design and were recently selected as finalists for the NASA Tech Rise Challenge. We also have coding clubs, dance, jazz band, and a variety of other interest-based activities for our students. No matter your interest, you can find something for you at Argyle Middle School of Digital Design and Development. Hello, my name is Anthony. I am currently a student in Argyle in the eighth grade. I think you would be very interested in bringing your students to Argyle if they are interested in technology classes. Our school is full of technology, including labs and etc. I am currently working in our tech team, helping with iPads and other types of technology. You could check that out. Maybe you are interested in other classes. We also have plenty of classes like drama, art, and also much others. I like Argyle. It's a very nice, welcoming community. One of my favorite experiences, I've been playing sports on our school team. I had so much fun and a great experience. From students to staff, everyone is very welcoming and friendly. Join us if you would like to have a full tech experience. Good evening, students and families. My name is Ms. Ashton Pontius, and I'm the Magnet Coordinator at A. Mario Loiterman Middle School of the Creative and Performing Arts. At Loiterman, we provide a creative and collaborative learning environment in which we 
are able to build every learner's capacity by exposing them to rigorous academic programming and unique artistic experiences. We have over 30 arts electives for students to explore over their three years here at Loiterman. Students have the opportunity to take high school accredited art classes. Students are given the opportunity to learn and work with our community partners of professional artists across all arts throughout the year. These unique opportunities to work with professionals include, but are not limited to, taking master's classes with choreographers, learning from professional actors, participating in jurored art shows, playing with members of participating ensembles, and collaborating in workshops on songwriting. Consider joining the Loiterman family if you have interest in visual or digital art, choral music, digital music, instrumental music, theater, film, and dance. Loiterman has it all and can meet your needs as a student, no matter your experience level. Thank you. Hi, my name is Israel. I'm an eighth grade student at A. Mario Loiterman. I chose Loiterman for their art and instrumental music courses. This year, I'm in, I'm in the studio art program. I have been at Loiterman since sixth grade. I have been able to explore my art abilities and my likes and dislikes. Since coming to Lorderman, I have felt supported by my teachers and I have made great friends throughout the years. Um, even though I haven't been involved in all of the arts, I have been able to see shows done by theater and dance students. If you're looking to expand your creativity, Lorderman is the place for you. Hello everyone. My name is Patricia Thompson. I am the Magnet Coordinator at Parkland Magnet Middle School for Aerospace Technology. At Parkland, every student is in a unique accelerated MCPS middle school science program where students complete the MCPS science curriculum for grades six through eight in just two years. By the eighth grade, all students have an opportunity to take a high school physical science course. They can take physics or earth systems and sustainability. They are also are allowed to take a high school science elective credit in introduction to engineering design and or astronomy. Other science electives include introduction to robotics, applied robotics, forensics, applied robotics, forensics, and principles of flight, as well as 3D printing. Some of our uh, extraordinary programs at Parkland are Civil Air Patrol. We also have the Alphabet After School Care Program. We have Girl Tech, which is girls really, really love technology. We have the Family STEM Night, also Noches de Ciencias, Ciencias uh, Invent the Future Challenge, as well as Girls Leadership. We are partnered with Kid Museum and we do Future Fest. We have theater art courses. We have the Math Club, First Lego League Robotics, First Tech Challenge Robotics, AA Lead, as well as our theater production does two productions every year. Some of our community partners at Parkland are Kid Museum. We work with NASA and NOAA, Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, University of Maryland. We work with Wheaton High School, Civil Air Patrol. We also work with Curiosity Cube and the National Center for Earth and Space Science. Park Parkland is a great place to learn and we'd, we'd be happy to see you here. Thank you. Hi, my name is Shireen. I chose Parkland because I felt like it was the best school for my future as a doctor, scientist, or lawyer. I enjoyed the chicken dissection in seventh grade. The science classes here have lots of fun experiments and investigations. My favorite thing about Parkland is how supportive the teachers are. They are always available to support you. I enjoy my intro to engineering class and astronomy. I feel like this, this school brings out my creativity. If you're thinking about coming to Parkland, you will not be disappointed and it will have a lot of opportunities for you. Thank you so much to all of the coordinators and students for sharing about the programs that their schools offer. At this time, I'd like to explain more about the choice process. Grade five students who live within the boundaries of the elementary schools mentioned earlier will participate in the choice lottery process and are guaranteed to be assigned to one of the three whole school magnets in the MSMC. Students who live outside of the consortium in other parts of Montgomery County may participate in the choice lottery. 
approximately 80 of these students will be invited to each school. Factors considered in the lottery include school capacity, choice ranking, sibling link, and socioeconomic status. Please note that test results, report card grades, and teacher recommendations are not a part of the MSMC lottery. This process begins now in September with this meeting. During October, students and their families will be able to visit each of the schools during their open houses. The choice form will become available online in mid-October. The deadline to complete the choice form is the first Friday in November. The timeline continues to mid-January when student results will be mailed home. In February, any out of consortium student that has been invited will have to either accept or decline their invitation. Also in February, we start round two. Round two is for out of consortium students that were not selected in round one. In consortium students who are new can participate in round two and in consortium students who do not get their first choice in round one can participate in round two by requesting that their round one choices be resubmitted. Now that we're aware of the timeline, let's talk about next steps. Please make sure that you attend each school's open house to learn more about the programs. The DC CAPS website will have additional information. Once you get to the choice form, rank the schools in your order of preference. Submit your choices using the appropriate link starting in mid-October. The deadline to submit the choice form is the first Friday of November. The form should be completed by the student together with a parent or guardian. An earlier submission does not guarantee a first choice. In addition to the MSMC, you may be interested in other magnet programs available in MCPS. There are criteria-based magnet programs available at Roberto Clemente Middle School, Eastern Middle School, Dr. Martin Luther King Middle School, and Tacoma Park. They offer similar programs to the MSMC in that they offer rigorous coursework and have limited seats available. They offer themed programs and high school credit opportunities. Just like the MSMC, these programs do not consider race as part of their admissions criteria. The magnet programs do have some differences. The MSMC schools are whole school magnets. The criteria-based programs are a smaller program within a larger school. In the MSMC, all students participate in the magnet focus. In the criteria base, only the invited students participate in the magnet program. MSMC students are assigned through a lottery process using the choice form. Criteria based programs assign students based on the selection process, which includes report card grades and various assessments. As mentioned earlier, we strongly encourage you to attend the open houses before completing your choice form. The dates of the open houses are on the screen. Families are encouraged and welcome to attend. Now we're gonna to transition to the most frequently asked questions.
as we conclude our session about the MSMC, again, I'd like to thank the coordinators and the students for sharing about their schools and helping us learn about the process. On the screen, you can see the contact information for each of the coordinators. If you have any specific questions about the programs that weren't answered today and are not answered at the open houses, please feel free to reach out to the coordinators. Thank you very much for joining us and good luck with the choice process.